Let's try this. Got this thing all wide open. I should get her going. I should know to put the paper right in front of the thing there. She's gonna go now. She's gonna go. See how long it takes to get that up. I don't know to 450 or five, right about in the middle there. It's one o'clock now, a little after one. So we'll see how long it takes to get up to 450, about in the middle of that gauge. And I forgot to say I put uh, all new rope gasket on this thing here, and uh, the top. The bottom, the four sides, and around the door. Oh, you can't see all that, but anyway. The top, the bottom, four corners, and all the way around the door. There's new rope seal. And uh, something else. I don't know. Let's see. It's lighting up. This thing will be cooking pretty soon. I still got the flue wide open, and it doesn't really... It, it, it uh, puffs back less than my uh, pot belly stove, the Natty Buckeye. But it should take a little bit. This shit will get going. Okay, maybe you can hear it. Hear it firing up now. I'll open it up. See how she's catching. Yeah, she's getting there. It's getting there. I don't know if it does the secondary burn. What I'd really like to do with both of the stoves is put uh, glass on the front. That'd be really cool to see the flames and see if that secondary burn is actually working. She's starting to cook now. I turned the air intake down a little bit. It still doesn't belch out smoke. That's one thing I like about this. I'm surprised about that. But uh, pleasantly surprised. So it's burning pretty good. It's been about uh, it's been about eight minutes. It's slowly going up. It's probably hitting about 250 right now. Something like that. This one doesn't have the numbers. It's just got the uh, safe. But straight up and down is about 425. The uh, yellow and green boundary is about 300. And the red and green boundary is about 500. Maybe a little, a little less. Or a little more than 500, 550, I can't remember. All right. Here's another thing I do. It's got these air holes here. If I feel like I want to cut it down even more, I'll put that over there. If I think I want to try to get the secondaries to suck more oxygen through the pipes instead of coming through here into the primary. All right, I'm going to add a piece of wood. Left-handed even. Let's try that. You know, that goes... Put that in there. Don't burn yourself. Don't burn the baby. Ah, jeez. Uh, all right. It's coming up to temperature. It's getting up there. You're getting closer to 300 anyway. I toned it down a little bit. I turned the. I turned this down, and I. Well, I opened this back up. But. Always oh, trying to save wood, so that's the way I am. What's going on out here? Not burning too clean right now. We gotta get her warmed up. I don't know if you can see that smoke going through there or not. I don't know if I said that the first time I fired this up, there was a few carcasses of uh, bluebirds up above the the flue. So I started it up after I cleaned it out, put some wood in there, and started burning those carcasses and smoke's coming in the garage it stunk like hell anyway i got those out of there and it, it burned okay after that i got got some more air going in i'm gonna add a couple more log, uh, pieces of wood not logs this is all mainly one or two logs all right oh no 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 no, no, no. There we go. And a couple more. I'm going to put this one in, too. We're going to get another one in there. Burn, baby, burn. Burn. 
baby burn. I'll show you how to build a fire, damn it. Ah, I forgot about Larry. I gotta put Larry back. He gets mad. He likes getting hot. He gets hot. Larry gets hot. You gotta watch it. Don't don't poke your eyeballs on Larry's tentacles. Don't do that on a deer. All right, we're getting up there a little bit. What do we got? We're getting close to 300. She's cooking pretty good. I opened up the air here. Whoop. You hear it? Oh, it's cooking. Yeah, baby. Okay, I'm gonna close this up and now. Uh... Oh yeah, I forgot. It's been about, uh... It's been about what, uh, 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 15, 15, 17 minutes or something? All right. Okay, it's been about uh, 20 minutes. This thing's up to, it's, it's pushing, getting close to 350, 400. And I think when I get a decent coal bed, I close this back down again. When I get a decent coal bed, I'm going to put in uh, that bigger log there. And I think that will uh, get it, this log over here. I think that'll get it pretty hot once that thing burns down a bit. All right, let's get a look in here. Watch out, Larry. Get out of the way. Whoa, she's kicking out the heat now. There's some heat popping over the top. Yeah, I got it. I got it open. I got it open at least half. That thing drafts pretty good once it gets going. and it's, I'm probably going to kick it back once I get it up to... 500 or so. All right, it's been a little more than a half hour. It's blazing away. I don't think it uh, gets as hot as it used to. This used to, I used to get that up to 700 like quickly. And I didn't like that because I, like I said, all the heat was directly going right up to that area. But we'll go see what the smoke looks like up here. Yeah, it's still got some smoke. I thought it'd be burning better than that, but it's not bad. I think you can see against that pine tree very well with this lighting. Whatever. <laughs> okay, to sum it all up, seems no matter. I haven't uh, run the stove all that much, but uh, it's some pretty dry wood that's I've been putting in. And it seems like no matter how I open the air, either down here, or increase the draft, you know, putting this straight up so that I get the maximum amount of airflow. Seems like no matter where I put those combinations, even if I open this up and let more air in and let more air through that, through the through the damper, it seems like I'm always hovering right around uh, 400 or maybe just below. I mean, I'm getting plenty of heat out of this thing, but I'm, I'm kind of assuming that... Uh, with that big insulator in there that I'm keeping the heat down here because it's really coming out the sides like like you can hardly hold your hand up there three four inches away it kind of hurts but uh, it really kicks out the heat it was 40 degrees by the way it's been uh, about 45 minutes maybe a little less it was 40 when I started now it's like 56 I don't know if you can see that garbage but who knows? Whatever. You gotta believe me. This garage is about uh, the same square footage. It's uh, like 26 by 31 or something like that. It's just a hair over square footage wise, but he's got a foot shorter or a foot or two shorter ceiling. I think this is an eight foot ceiling. I think mine was 10 foot, if I'm not mistaken, with a nine foot door. But anyway, uh, it's doing his job. I think it's a nice stove. I think it would be a candidate to go in a house because uh, it doesn't belch a lot of smoke, really. But it needs to be cleaned up. The uh, the other stove I completely sandblasted and repainted, but I didn't do that to this one. I just cleaned it up. Adios, amigos.